So I'm, I assume you can uh, see my uh, slide here, correct? Somebody? Can somebody yeah, say? It, yeah, yeah, it is visible. Okay. So what we did was we went, and this is a collaboration with Ashish. Uh, we went and um, we interviewed uh, some 46 uh, groups of rag pickers in different go-downs. So go-down is where they uh, work, live, and, um, and we're trying to understand how do we make them more productive? How do we increase their yields? And so we um, try to understand some of the factors. These are two factors, but there were actually four factors we found important. One was uh, what we see here is group size. The other one is literacy. The other two is something called receptiveness. So if you go to uh, outside Delhi, Ghazipur, there's this big immense waste pile and you have thousands of pickers or, or where Ashish and I work next, you know, we went some places where there, there are hundreds of thousands of uh, pickers. So some are open to learning. Some are open to <clears throat> suggestions. So one of the things we're looking at is do they have clean drinking water? Do they have toilets? So it's, it's how receptive they are. And then the other thing that we were also looking at was uh, what kind of technologies and technologies are things like educational material it means like training them in terms of the sorting mechanism in terms of what kind of uh, they, they can use like uh, this cart push cart uh, they can use something called Baku which is like a bag, you know, and that affects how they, uh, how, how productive they are. So what we did, we looked at the amount of waste they collected. This is on a per capita basis per month, okay? And we looked at literacy. Now, when we went and interviewed the pickers, we found that in no group, there was more than one person that was literate, which was kind of interesting. Uh, most of the groups did not have any literate people, uh, you know, so that was interesting. And there are three types of waste that is collected. One is the recyclable, which has value to it. Biodegradable is something that is, uh, can be used for fishy culture and other things like that. And inert is just dust. And what we found was that when people become literate in a group, right? They go from, they start dropping the amount of recyclables. Uh, no, they increase the amount of recyclables, but the amount of de biodegradable drops, whereas inert material doesn't change very much. The other thing that was very interesting that we found, whoops, that we found was that smaller groups are productive across the spectrum. So we, and this is, you know, this is working in, in close uh, uh, partnership with IPCA. We're trying to understand why, because remember our suggestions now, and, and I think Ajay will also talk about how they're working with another 20 other NGOs. And of course we have Arun Radha here, and maybe some of these findings can go. So what, what we can do is we can see how to optimize. So if you're thinking of this, if we got many groups, if we can find, if we can have at least in one group, one literate member, that makes a big difference. And instead of having giant groups, much more specialized groups will have a better yield. And this analysis is, uh, we did some fancy stuff. We use uh, some AI, I mean, not AI, neural networks, and we model nonlinear patterns. So we did this. We actually had to collect data from the field, and uh, Ashish and I were actually going to the field, making sure that this was uh, valid. It wasn't just some theoretical data. I know as academics are blamed sometimes for that kind of stuff. So what we could do is, this is some of the outcomes. 
So the best outcome is to have a small group, only two people, with one literate member, at least in that group, have enough technology, and technology doesn't mean you know GPS and all that kind of stuff. It can be just having the cart and, and that, and make sure that people are receptive. We can get an additional 3,250 kgs per capita per month. Think about how much that is more. Now, the uh, just looking at the recyclable value stream, which is the one that has money, that's 3.5 uh, rupees per kg, we can increase the per capita income by 11,000. So, so this, sh this shows us, and this is based on the data that that's, we collected on the field. We went to the different go-downs. Uh, you can collect more waste, and, uh, but we found that the biodegradable has, uh, we collect less because they're more focused on the money-making ventures. But overall, we process more waste. So this is what we're coming, uh, we, our findings. And, uh, you know, the next presentation, I think Ajay and uh, Ashish can talk about how we can do it. But I thought, you know, this is what we're looking at. I mean, I have other diagrams, but I just want to be respectful for time. So does anyone have any questions?